Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine, and my name is Dave. I'm Chris. And Trevor. And we are again re reviewing a board game, and this one is called Codename. Now this is designed by Vladis Fatu, and I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, but I got close enough. Now this guy has a lot of cult classics. Um, he w works with CGE most of the time, uh, almost exclusively. And he does Dungeon Lord, and he does Dungeon Pet, and a lot of people like his games. Again, uh, his games are kind of a cult classic type. And this one, code names, think of battleships and passwords put together. Yep. The theme yep. is uh, a spy game, uh, but that's where the theme really stops. There's not much of a theme. It's really based around how the game plays. So, I mean, without further ado, let's show you what comes in the box and uh, how to play this game. Yay! All right, so what you get in this game is basically all cards and a timer and a standee. So we'll start with the basic cards that you're gonna be trying to find and put your tiles on because uh, the end game is you want to try to get rid of all these actual player tiles. Now one person, will, well one team will have an extra one based on if they go first. And then you have these square um, location cards. Now this is what points when you have the five by five grid made up of these car cards that you're trying to execute and win the game. You have these thick, uh, thicker tiles. They um, could be a bit thicker, but they're done well enough. The art on them are pretty good. You have the blue team, the bystanders, and the deadly assassin. Of course, you have the 60 sec second timer and the little standee here that you use to put up these location cards. So let's show you how to play the game. Okay, so the gameplay is quite simple. You'll pick teams. You'll have in a four-player game, one person on this side and another, uh, the other team, their opposing player will be on the other side of you and your teammate will be across because you're going to be giving uh, one-word clues and putting a number behind it based on wh what uh, clues are associated with said word. Um, you'll start the game by drawing one of these cards here, and whatever card, uh, whatever color is on the outside, that player's team is going first, and they will get an extra tile. Now, blue in this case will do so, and this is what you're going to try to execute. So there are nine points on here for blue that they have to do to win the game, and eight for red, and they have this deadly assassin here. Now, if anyone ever touches this one here, they lose no matter what. Even if they were winning and losing, the game is over if you touch the deadly assassin so on your turn say i was giving a clue to chris over here my partner i would say only one word and i can associate it with up to one two or three numbers and then my opponent will get that many guesses so if i say plane one he only gets to guess one of the words here that associates with plane now i can't point i can't do anything i have to stay silent and give chris a time to pick a word that he would say plane would associate with and I'm not gonna say oh that is right I would again say stay quiet and pick whatever color is associated with uh, jet here now I wouldn't have picked jet because it is a bystander but I just wanted to pick a plane so in this case he hit a bystander if you ever hit another person's um, color or another uh, bystander your turn ends now if I would have said uh, plane two he would have uh, continued to guess if this was right and he could have chose to say okay I'm going to continue to guess this uh, plane clue or he can stop and pass to the next player because you don't want to give the other uh, team points and if you're not sure you'll just remember that clue that was associated with plane in a later turn so that's how the game is played out you'll say a one word uh clue and a number either one two or three and allow the players to uh, pick not saying anything and just placing the color of whatever uh, corresponds on this little card when they point at it now they can't say anything either now we'll you'll continue to do this until one player's um colors are all on the board and that uh, team immediately wins so that's why if uh, the blue team is winning by like uh, one more that they have and you have like three more you're gonna have to really go for it and say Whatever clue you want and give the option for three guesses. So that is how you play code names We'll go over um, some of the words just to give a feel of it, but That's basically it and then we'll go into our opinion. Let me show you a few of these right now um, They have uh, just really just simple ones: shadow glove litter comic millionaire 
washer, tooth, and all that kind of stuff. And um, there is a backside to each one of them. So if you play one game, the cool thing is you can just flip them over and keep the grid like this and continue to play. And they have words on either side so all players can see them properly. Now, that is code names. Let's get into what we think and give this game a grade. One thing that I did want to mention, there is a timer in here for a reason. You can use the 60 second timer during the phase of the team if you want, but I left it out because normally we don't ever play with the timer. We want to allot that time so you can really think. Um, but it does add a speed kind of concept to the game, so if you're into that, you can definitely add the timer. So, um, with all that broke down, my grade for this game is going to be a letter and or a percentage, and I went with an 84, which is a strong B in my book. Yes, I like this game. I, I knew going in it would be interesting, so I was optimistic, so maybe there is some kind of hyperbole there, I'm not sure, but when I went in with a good uh, attitude, I wound up loving this game because both of those concepts of Password and, and um, Battleship uh, just put together for some reason just had me um, instantly and we every time I play this game people want to play more or I want to play more yeah. regardless of if I lose or if I win I just want to see if I can do it right the next time now there are other things uh, that you can play with more than four players it can go up to ten I think uh, but we haven't done that and uh, there are other things like you have to um, start in the game and say you can't say st stuff like CSI unless you specify, okay, we're doing abbreviations, right, which right. Uh, they say in the rule book, you can do that. So um, I just, it, I, I chuckle every time and I I have a good, it, it, it's harder than what you would think it would it is to pick a word and match it up with other words sometimes. They really did a good job of diversifying the clues mm -hmm. in here. So, and, and sometimes you just don't want to go for it. But that's my grade. I really like this game. And uh, we're going to go with to Chris and give his okay. one through 10. Yeah, I'm going to go one through 10. All right. Uh, I'm going to give this one a nine. Nah. I really do enjoy this game. Mm -hmm. uh, going on, going along with uh, Dave here said, uh, Dave here said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, going along with what Dave said earlier, uh, it's really hard to think of uh, one word that could connect up yeah. to three words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when Unless you're, you when you're behind. Yeah. Or when, when you're behind. You're I mean, usually when you're when you're just starting the game, you just want to give one, just to be on the safe side. Like on this one here, um, there are two different animals, and that would be a good one. Like animal yeah. two, like turkey cat. Um, but somebody might think this web, web is animal. Could, yeah, I've done that actually spider, before. Right. So, but yeah, I mean, there's so, that. Yeah, and that's what. And the other reason why it's up there for me is uh, what Trevor likes is the social part of it. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's very, I think I think it's great really good. Game. Yeah, awesome. Um, and the first time we ever played it, uh, Dave brought it over, and we actually me and Trevor were here, and we were only staying for a few minutes. Oh man, no, that was a we long We actually night. got. I think we both got in trouble on that one. Yeah, it was like like two hour, like hour and a half, or we, and we were just gonna try and play yeah. for like twenty minutes every time. Yeah, every I've time, yeah. That with people. So. And the other cool thing that I love about it is depending on your person on your team if you know them uh like uh you gotta think how they think right uh, like you i'm big in the movie so i might use movie references to explain a word or anything yeah so, like spoon what would, right. you, what, what would you think about i would spoon? think tick yeah see. <laughs> yeah so, um so that's the other cool part about it i just you just gotta know who you're playing with yeah and you can feel out how to go from there right so, well, and that, I mean, for me, any social game, I don't like playing it with people I'm not comfortable with socially. That yeah. just makes sense. That might so, be a, a kind of a, dumb, it's a double-edged sword, right? It's a great party game, but you really have to have that crowd. Right? But if you've got those people that you aren't that comfortable with, you just play something more strategic. Give us your grade. Yeah. Yes, My you grade, um, you know, I, I don't want to... I don't want to veer from my normal 1 through 10 grade, but uh, this is a pretty simple game. I I'm not taking anything away from it. I really like it, so I I'm just going to give it a, a 4 out of 5. Okay. Um, just because I'm tired of giving 8s. I know I gave um, a 5 to, but wait, there's more, because it's a horrible game. Um, so no, not really. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5, which is technically an 8 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but it's different. But yeah, yeah. I really like it. I love social games, and like Chris said, we were just going to get a quick game in, and it ended up being a quick, like, 6 or 7 games. Yes. I think I lost, like, 70% of them, but oh well. It, it but fun. you still wanted um, to keep going. You wanted yeah. to, yeah. Yeah, and... and it's so funny because, the, I mean, they picked some of these so well. I mean, web, you could think internet, you could think right. spider web, you could think yeah. lead, that could be I'm leading you, or it could be lead, like lead in a bulletproof oh, vest. Right. Right. I yeah. mean, 
And the funny sure. thing is, is you have they have so many double meaning words, and then some that aren't to kind of mix it up. But mm -hmm. when I play this game, it cracks me up because I'm super aggressive. <laughs> I I always, if I'm the clue giver, I want to like say two. something and then three. I'll yeah. try and stretch it every time, and I most of the time well, get you can myself too because they can yeah. stop during that right. time. Well, they can stop, but I also feel like even you know, worst case scenario, they obviously they hit the deadly assassin. Right. That's rough. That's that's tough. It but is, yeah. or they give the other opponent a point, which does stink. But still, if you throw that out there, and if they're smart enough and they play with you enough, they realize, hey, we still got some guesses left yeah. from yeah. one of his clues. If we remember that, that oh, might help right. us in the end. Yeah. You know. So yeah. Um, you 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 really have to remember the history of the game. But um, the funny thing for me is whenever I play this game. I have in my head what I think is such a simple idea. I'm like, I look at these three things, and then all of a sudden they put a tile down on something I wasn't even thinking about. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. But, uh, no, I really fun game. Definitely deserves its 4 out of 5 or its 8 out of 10, regard, you know, whatever way you look at it. Yeah. But uh, I love playing uh, with these guys, and, and we even played... Funny thing is that I probably shouldn't be bringing up, but we played with our family, and we played with a couple of younger girls, my nieces, um, and just just know this going into it. Some younger kids, they kind of had a, they really wanted to be smart and yeah, make the did. right pick. Okay. So it took you might need you to should, use the timer. Use the timer right now. And we didn't we oh. because it, it took okay. both of it them about me. thirty minutes just to give out one clue. Oh, we were like, okay, yeah. and then everyone was getting antsy everyone wanted the game yeah. to be over and that's not the way this right. game should go but normally you can bust out this game easily in oh, like yeah. 10 15 well, see, and that's the difference though. like they they wanted to be super critical about yeah. how they went about saying their one clue yeah which is fine which is cool right but uh like you said it's, i like you know getting three or four games in and yeah it's a fast and fun game play it that way because it's yeah. more fun that way yeah okay well that is that our thoughts on this game <laughs> right so, i I like that you guys actually played with kids. I haven't done that. I wanted yeah. to see how that would work. So, yeah. No, they were really good. good. Like you said, they, they, they were in depth, though. But they were really good about it. They loved it. Definitely use a timer in that case. So. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining in on today's review of Code Names. That's what we think, and it's been high praise from all of us. And until the next time that we see you, I've been Dave. I'm Chris. And I've been... I've been Trevor. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. We're out. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. <laughs>